Up in the morning and out to school The teacher is teaching the golden rule Hi, uh, my name is Marcia Gannon. I'm the school principal here at MCI Framingham. Uh, you'll see behind me a list of programs that we offered here in the Education Division as far back as 1937. It's kind of a historic piece. Um, however, today we do some different things here at MCI Framingham. Uh, Division-wide, we offer a wide uh, variety of vocational programs and educational programs, one of which uh, we're going to feature today, and that is our computerized reading lab. Uh, it sort of analyzes where the students are at with their reading, uh, the artificial intelligence assigns lessons, and then uh, the teacher monit monitors their progress through a server. We have five inmate tutors that come in and help out with that reading program. Um, the program itself is um, one of the programs is my reading coach, and what it works on is building reading comprehension, fluency, phonemic awareness, the vocabulary, and their grammar skills. Um, it's student-driven. Every student is given a diagnostic exam, and based on that diagnostic exam, the program individually prescribes what each student needs to work on. And it constantly retests them and reevaluates them and prescribes the lessons according to what's going on with them. And then following that, they also work on the fluent reading trainer, which works, works on bridging fluency and comprehension, so increasing their reading speed, helping them quickly identify words, um, and thereby increasing their speed and also watching for those keys that indicate there's going to be some kind of comprehension that's needed with this section. So bringing the two together. Actually the Reading Coach is a program that has helped me a lot um, understanding the volumes of the words, speed reading, um, the, um, the nouns, the pronouns, the vowels and things like that. I'm going to take advantage of this program that has helped me a lot um, going into college hopefully success, you know, get something big out of Right now, Diana is working on the reading coach. She's working on a lesson that's three syllable words. So she's learning how to break words into smaller pieces to better able her to pronounce and decode the word or understand what the word is. Um, this is part of the reading coach. You'll see that there's a video of a gentleman speaking on the reading coach, there's actually it's a speech pathologist involved. So not only do they talk about language, they'll actually visually show you the shape of the mouth, and they'll talk about the rules for the formation of that sound, position your tongue behind your teeth, and so on. Or when you get into this level, he's giving just directions about how to syllabicate words or break words into parts so that you can decode them. It helped me because, like, I'm like really not a, f a focused person, you know, little things throw me off. I'm not good with a lot of things, my math, I'm not good with a lot of people around me because it just throws me off too easily. So the reading coach is just like helps you block out a lot of things and focus on one, you know, one, one thing at a time. And it just helps me take my time to focus on one particular thing to do and as you know, as you go along. Most of the referral for the reading coach comes from word of mouth actually. Initially we looked for students to be involved in the program that were special education students or that were involved in other programs. But since the program has become so popular and it's so successful and the students see their own success, they've been coming and referring each other into the program as well as the teachers refer them into the program and I'll bring them into the program as well. The value of this program has helped me a lot um, in my speech also because I come from Spanish too, speak Spanish. So the English fluence that I'm learning more, it's basically with this program that has helped me a lot, especially on the reading, that I do speed reading now. That, um, that's gonna help me um, speed through my, my success that I wanna do, which is uh, achieve my goal in um, passing my GED. So when I get released, I could be able to you know, go straight into college or either in community college. The reading coach will be helpful to me because I have a couple of grandchildren that, you know, I never was able to help, but now I can. I wasn't able to help with my nieces and nephews, but with my grandchildren, I'll be able to help them with homework and help them understand the things that they need to understand. It's an excellent program, and I think that more people should get involved in this program. It's, I mean, I'm a person who did not want to continue in school until I got to the reading coach and it's like I can't stay away from it. So it's an excellent program. It really is. 
Um, one thing to remember uh, is that when inmates come in to MCI Framingham, it is a reception center, we do what's called the test of adult basic education. And what we find from that is that most inmates are reading far under an eighth grade level. Uh, that obviously is not going to help them with re-entry and with getting to the outside and getting jobs and getting further education. So we feel it's really, really critical to meet them where they are in their ability to read and to take them to a level where hopefully they can pass the GED and maybe go on and do some college work or do some vocational programming.